Hey, you guys, we are doing a whole organic chicken. We're doing a pork spare rib, and we're doing beef franks. The seasoning that we're going to be using for today is the Outback, which has all purpose seasoning. But the focus of the video is going to be on cooking with the Robinson's coffee steak rub named Bao, one of the family, family members. So with that, we got a card up top that I'll be showing you guys a little bit later with more of their seasonings and where you can get a hold of them and get their information. But we're gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up, skint up, and ready to get outside and get the grill started. So with that, we'll be back here in a minute and we'll continue this front time smoke. Back in a minute. As y'all can see, I have cut the rib tips off from the spare rib. That's the spare rib over here. And I cut this little piece off right here, off of the top of here. I try to square that off and make it look a little bit neater. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out and I'll let you guys come back and check out the seasoning. Once I get it seasoned, I'm gonna use the Outback, which has all purpose seasoning and some mustard on this. And on the chicken, we're gonna use Val, the coffee and steak bread from cooking with the Robinsons. All right, back in a minute. As I'm back, and now I have the rib tip and the spare rib both seasoned up and ready to go. The rib tip is covered with light mustard and the Outback which has all purpose seasoning. The spare rib is covered in mustard and the Outback which has all purpose seasoning. And that little sample piece right there is covered in the Outback which has all purpose seasoning. We got the beef franks there. We're gonna be using today the Val Coffee Steak Rub by Cooking with the Robinsons. Their card is up here as well, but we get a better picture of that. And I got the whole chicken in the sink and ready to cut it and clean it out. We're gonna spatch cut, cut that and put it on the grill today for you guys. All right, back in there from the back. We got the chicken now spatch cut, cut and open. We're gonna go ahead and use the Cooking with the Robinsons, Val Coffee Steak and Rub. We got also a little bit of extra version of olive oil on there as well. So we're gonna go ahead and season this up. Flip it over and do the same thing. So let's see what we got here. It smells good, guys. Smell the coffee. Nice coverage, nice color. That's all I'm gonna do on the inside. So I'll be right back and we'll flip it over. Alright guys, I'm back and as you can see, we are done. Nice coverage. Nice color. Like I said, you can smell the coffee. Looks good, guys. Alright guys, I am back. And as you can see, we got the grill lit. We're going to start out today cooking direct over the hot coals. And then we're gonna wrap everything. And we're gonna move it back, slide the coals back, and we're gonna offset cook it the rest of the way. So with that being said, I wanna thank God for waking me, blessing me, keeping me in my right mind, give me my health and strength to come forward today and bring you guys another stormy Fontaine smoke. So with that, as you can see, it is cloudy outside today, you guys. It's raining right now. And it's thundering and lightning a little bit out here too. But hey, rain, sleet, and snow. Out back to Chad's gonna bring you guys that fun time smoke. So with that, we'll be back here in a minute and we'll continue this fun time smoke. Back in a minute, guys. I am back. We are right about 275 on the grill. We might still be going up a little bit. The grill is still going, but hey, we're gonna go ahead and put the meat on right there and get this fun time smoke started. So I'll be back here in a minute and I'll have you guys check out how I got the meat positioned on the grill. Back in a minute. And as you can see, we got the meat on the grill. We got the beef franks up top. There's 12 of those. We got the spare rib, the rib tip, the sample, and we got the whole chicken using the cooking with the Robinsons, Val, coffee, and steak rub. So we got a little fire under there. I'm gonna let it just cook just like it's doing for right now. We just put this on. It ain't been on no more than about three minutes. So now we're gonna go ahead and finish out this front time smoke stone in the storm back in the morning right, guys i am back and today you guys i am using 
cooking with the Robinson's Val Coffee Steak Rub. I purchased that at the Frisco Market on last Saturday. So we're going to see just how this is going to work. I tasted it, it was good. They also have a couple of other seasonings that they have. I got the card, I'm going to try to put it right in front of the camera now. So if we were to focus. And they named them all after family members, guys. I thought that was pretty cool. Had never seen that before. You got Dottie, Coy, Val, and Frank. And their other information is on the back of the card. Cooking with the Robinsons. You got YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And you can scan that QR code there. Maybe it'll help you out as well. But we're gonna try this out and give it a taste after we're done and see what it's about. I know it's gonna be good, guys. Back in a minute. Back and I repositioned the meat. Got a little bit of a fire under there, but hey, it's okay. Look at that. Look at the chicken, y'all. Look at that chicken. We got the spare rib over here. The rib tip over there. Let me get ready to flip those over. Got a little sample piece right there. Man, this chicken is looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and flip all this over, and I'll be back in a minute. The Franks are up there doing good, the beef Franks. Just rotated those. So we'll be back in a minute. We're going to flip over the, the spare rib and the rib tip. Back in a minute. chicken off the hot side of the grill, the direct side. I've got it kind of on the off side right now, but look at the color, guys. Cooking with the Robinson Val Coffee Steak Rub. And it look good. Cooking so good, the skin tearing up, y'all. Then we got the Out Baby Chai's All Purpose Seasoning on the spare rib, mustard. And then we got the rib tip, we just got the light mustard and outback which has all purpose seasoning we got the sample and then we got the beef franks up top all right guys back in a minute all right, back. we're gonna go ahead and flip over the ribs now look at that chicken and then beef franks nice color on them spare rib rib tip Look at that, look at that fold. Cooking good, guys, cooking good. Let's get this rib tip. That color. That's the rib tip, y'all. That's the rib tip. I'm gonna lay it down. So the tenderness in there. I see the bone draw back right there. All right, back in a minute. I'm back and we are right about 250 on the grill. So we're gonna go ahead and check the meat again. Looking good. Give it a spritz. Nice color, you guys, on that chicken. Tending this on these ribs. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, good tenderness on the ribs. Flip them over. Nice color, guys, nice color. All right, back in a minute. All right, guys, I'll come back. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap these up. They've been on for now two hours. So we're gonna go ahead and flip them into some foil and wrap them up and let them finish out this front time smoke. We've been cooking direct at about 250 to 275 we started out. So now we are right around 250 
and we're gonna go ahead and wrap these up, sift through the coals, and we're gonna wrap them up and uh, set them on here and offset cook them the rest of the way. All right, even the chicken, back in a minute. St. Louis style rib here wrapped up, the rib tip, and the whole chicken. And all we gotta do is put the beef franks in some foil, but I might let them cook a little bit longer, give them a little bit more color. But we're getting ready to sift the coals. I wanted you guys to see that I didn't add anything, I didn't take anything away. So I'm gonna go ahead and sift those and we're gonna do our offset cook for the last two hours. That, I'll be back here in a minute and I'll let you guys see what I do. You guys can see, I got plenty of coals, you guys. Plenty. Didn't have to add anything. And this is really hot right now. So I'm gonna push all these back this way. Rates back down, contain this fun time smoke. I'm not gonna do this for two hours, you guys. I'm gonna leave it on for about an hour and a half. I'm gonna try to make this a three and a half hour cook. The storm has stopped, but you can hear the thunder back again. So hey, like I said, we're gonna continue this fun time smoke. Back on, we got the grace cleaned off, got the coals pushed back. So now we're gonna go ahead and position the food, the meat on the grill, so to get that offset cook started. Bear rib is right there. There's the rib tip. And here's the whole chip. So we're gonna leave those just like that. We'll close the grill up and see where the temp is at. And we're gonna try to maintain whatever the temp is. If it's 275, 250, if it's even 300, we're gonna try to maintain that to finish out this fun time smoke. All right. See the wind has picked up, but it's clearing up. But I got all the food wrapped up now. It's been on here now for 30 minutes. I got the beef franks there. I went ahead and I cut up the rib tip. There's the spare rib. There's the whole chicken with the cooking with the Robinsons, bow, coffee, steak rub. So we got our coals pushed back still. Still looking good. I just been stirring them up. So I'm gonna take this off in about an hour. I'm gonna let it dry out a little bit. Then we're gonna cut it up and close out the video. All right, guys, back in a minute. Guys, I'm back and we're taking the food off the grill. We're gonna check and see how everything's looking. These are the rib tips. That's the rib tips. Looking good. Come back up. Rib. I'm going to set it off if I can without it tearing up and let it dry out best I can here without it tearing on me. Here's the chicken. What's the color on that? Look at all that juice. Look at this dog. The leg quarter just came off. Look at that. Wow. And we also got the beef dogs up there. So with that, I'll be back here in a minute and I'll let you guys see if I close out the thing. Alright guys. I ain't put no chicken on this plate. This is for my wife. Put the rib tips, the spare rib right there. So I'm gonna take this in to her and I'll be back and I'll close out the video. Back in a minute. Alright guys, here's everything. We got the leg quarters off of the chicken. Here are the beef franks, rib tips, spare rib. 
We got more of the beef franks. We got more rib tips up top and some uh, beef franks right there. And here's the chicken that we used today. And we use the seasoning of cooking with the Robinsons, dal, coffee, steak, rub. Trying to look, y'all. Our bag which has all purpose seasoning on the spare rib and the rib tips and the beef franks. All right, y'all. Chicken tasted good. We're gonna go ahead and close out the video. If you like the video, hit that like, share, and subscribe. Remember to follow me on Instagram without back with Chaz, TikTok without back with Chaz. I want to thank each and every one of you who has been supporting me thus far throughout my journey. I want to thank all those that are new subscribed to the channel as well. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And I also want to make a special thanks to Cooking with the Robinsons. Their seasoning was excellent, you guys. Check them out. I'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys.